Good morning and happy Halloween, guys. Today is the day. This is what we've been waiting for since August 11th. It's been Halloween here at Disney. Um, and it's actually going on until tomorrow. November 1st is the last Halloween party here. So yeah, this is probably my last day though. So I wanted to get as much in as I can. I'm headed into the Magic Kingdom. Gonna try some Halloween themed food items I haven't tried yet. I'm gonna ride Haunted Mansion, of course. So my day starts here at the Polynesian. They actually have pumpkin displays. Every year, about a week before Halloween, they set up pumpkin displays. So the cast members will design their own pumpkins, put them out on display, and let the guests um, vote on which pumpkin's the best. So yeah, we're gonna, be, uh, we're gonna be checking those out. I also heard that the Grand Floridian has the pumpkin displays as well, so we're gonna stop by there. It is a super foggy day today. Kind of goes with the whole Halloween thing. I'm, I'm gonna put a clip right now of, of my car right over so you can kind of get a feel of how foggy it was. Clearing up a little bit. Doesn't take long with the Florida sun, but um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of it. All right, we are headed into the Great Ceremonial House. One of my favorite buildings for so many reasons. All right, so here we are at the displays. I made my decision after some some hours of thought. Trader Sam's, I think I'm going with that one. They want you to scan a QR code with your phone to vote, so I'm gonna do that now. All right, here we go. But best overall pumpkin, I'm going number nine. All right, for the spookiest pumpkin though, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to go for Jack Skeleton here. So I'm gonna go Number five for spookiest. Best Disney theme. I would say number nine. Back to the Trader Sam's. Most creative, I would say Trader Sam's. Ursula's tentacles sticking out of there. All right. All right, put in my votes. There we go. All right, gonna jump on the monorail and we're gonna head over to the Grand Floridian and see what they have over there. All right, we're heading on to Monorail Gold. Still working on the outside of the resort. Scaffolding's there still. I think they're painting and doing the roof. find these pumpkins now. I'm assuming they're downstairs. We'll ride on my favorite elevator here. I'm trying to find the pumpkins and look what I ran into here. So this is the gingerbread house. Looks like they're in the beginning of the construction phase. They build the, the house, like the, the structure before they put the gingerbread up top. How cool is this? I've never seen this part of the process. So I was just talking to a cast member and he said that they started this yesterday. So this is like one day's worth of work right here. They're almost done. Um, so then they put the gingerbread on top as well as all the candy, make it look festive. They do such a good job. This, this process must be so fun to watch as like a cast member. I would love watching this. He said when they add the sprinkles on top, it's like a really fun experience. All right, unfortunately, they already did the pumpkin contest. Um, I think they had to make room for, for this gingerbread. They have to get going on this so it's ready for, for the Christmas season. Yeah, it's all right. I'm glad we got to see that. I've never seen that, that part of the process before, so that's, that's super fun. All right, so here's the angle from above here. 
what this gingerbread house is looking like. All right, headed back on the monorail. Time for the Magic Kingdom. There's some more construction on the other side. Wow. Still a foggy day here in Central Florida. Sun's starting to peak out though. So there is a party tonight. I'm thinking the park's not going to be too busy today. Sold out tonight, of course. Yeah, so park days are always a good time to come. Typically, annual pass holders would be the only ones coming in. Uh, ticket holders typically won't be in here because people don't want to spend the full price for a ticket if they have to leave by six o'clock. Yeah, the crowd level is actually not looking too bad for 10 o'clock. Not bad at all. It's like they're doing a VIP tour here. Something I've always wanted to do. All right, one thing I haven't done for a while is the Swiss Family Treehouse. It's always fun to, to go through. So this is a walk at your own pace adventure through this treehouse. This is where you get your exercise, guys, in case you don't get enough steps when you come to Disney. Yeah, this is just super cool. Just look at the, the fake tree that they built this whole thing on. Great way to take in the, the sights. bedroom in here. So we're headed up to the top here. The crow's nest. Looks like they left some clothes behind. On eating banana. Oh, that fruit looks delicious, isn't it, guys? People even threw their coins on here. I thought water was the only good luck. Yeah. All right, so we're at the Pirates of the Caribbean. Speaking of low wait times, five minute wait right now. Basically, it's just a walk on.
Mars power space when ears tell tell only me what's got the goods. <laughs> Keep still. Please. Here's the latest at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Making some serious progress here. This is looking real good. Can't wait till this ride's done. I really miss Splash Mountain. I know that I know why they, they got rid of it, but it's so nostalgic to me. I really love the music in this movie as well though, so I know I'm gonna enjoy this one. I'm assuming this kid's little play area here is gonna be rethemed as well. Doesn't look like they've done anything to it yet though. We're in the train station in Frontierland. I, I never noticed the fake fire they have in this little stove. Here's the new mural that they just added. All right, it's 11 o'clock, time for lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna head into Pico's Bills now. This is sounding pretty good. Look at how dead it is in here. Look at this. This place is practically empty. All right, I got my taco trio here. Comes with plenty of cheese. It's got the lettuce, tomato, some salsa. All right, for 10 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this meal. You get tons of food here, look at this. It's a lot of food. Um, probably one of my favorite places to go in Magic Kingdom, to eat. Quick service, anyway. So the taco trio is three flour tortillas served with a choice of seasoned ground beef, seasoned chicken, or pork carnitas. Uh, I think the beef is my favorite out of all three of them. And of course the bird likes it too. Look at that. Clean it off my table. All right, so I'm headed into Haunted Mansion. Line's looking pretty long here. All right, so this is 35 minute wait. I'm not sure if the time starts at the gate here or if it starts where the line starts, which was, I've already been in line for like 10 minutes, so I'm not sure if that's added on to that time or not. But yeah, it's still not too bad for, for Halloween day. Not a bad wait time at all. the other side of Tom Sawyer Island. It's part of the cave system you can walk through. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination, mm -hmm. which offers you this chilling challenge? 
to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Stormer. It's a 10 minute wait on this one. Never noticed the smoke coming out of this. Yeah. Reckless is right. Oh boy. It's a bad day right there. The anticipation right here. It's gotta be the shortest roller coaster in history, but it's so much fun. The footprint is so small. I, I could literally fit this in my backyard. train ride. Probably gonna get a bite to eat. Could use a little dessert. So I'll probably head over to the Main Street Bakery next. As you know, I love this railroad about as much as a songbird loves it. But I'm still <laughs> Built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works, Philadelphia in 1928 and operated on the United Railways of Yucatan, Mexico as engine number 260. Imagineer Roger Brogy found the Baldwin Bunker C oil burner in a railway equipment boneyard in Merida, Mexico in 1969. Then he shipped it to Florida where it was converted to the exacting standards required for a Disney theme park attraction which I'm assuming uh, they convert, that's when they converted it to diesel, I believe. I was talking to one of the cast members and she said all the locomotives they have here at Disney, um, they used to run on wood, except for this one. This one ran on oil, but now they all run on, on diesel. They converted them all. Um, just a little, little fun fact. All right, heading into the confectionery. Oh man, it smells so good in here. I'm never too sure if I should get a candy apple. It's pretty, pretty hard to eat. Very messy. Rummy marshmallow treats are pretty cool. And they have a Hocus Pocus coffee blend. It's a Sanderson Sisters brew. Cinnamon, apple, and caramel. Huh. Looks interesting. 
All right, got my cupcake. Look at this. Yeah, it's a pretty standard vanilla cupcake with lots of frosting on top. It might be a little much. I mean, it looks great. Frosting's pretty heavy. I think it has to be thicker to be able to hold that shape that it has, the pumpkin shape. I mean, that's my guess, but um, in terms of flavor, I don't know. It's not, it's not really the best cupcake, but I it looks pretty. It's part of the National Military and Veterans Family Month. Um, yesterday they did like a flyover. Uh, I actually have a separate video on that, but the Thunderbirds, the Air Force Thunderbirds flew over Magic Kingdom in Epcot. Um, and they also added an apparel line, um, and you can find that apparel in, in some of the shops and the resorts, and I know they have it here at the, uh, the Emporium. So I was gonna go into the Emporium, see what I can find for, for the military-themed clothing, and uh, yeah, we'll check all that out. Looking like they have bandana, hat. It's actually a nice hat. It's got good Mickey's in there too. Camouflage water bottles. Thirty-nine dollars. Nice sweatshirt, tis the season. It's actually a really nice thick sweatshirt. It feels nice. I feel like it'd be pretty warm. I think that's it. So there's a limit of two, two items per guest. I guess the supplies are limited, so. All right, so I'm gonna get back on the monorail now. I'm thinking going back to the Poly and maybe trying another Halloween treat that they have there. It's pretty limited at this point. Um, unless you go to the party, I feel like they don't have as much. Not as much as they used to. Um, I think they're starting to just phase out some of the, the Halloween items already, believe it or not, on Halloween, but. Yeah, I think most of the most of the items can be found like at the actual parties themselves. Got a Halloween themed strawberry. It's got little ghosts on there. Literally just balls apart. Just the outside I think is like a little too crunchy. Strawberry is good though. All right, I'll try my pumpkin latte. Mm, that's actually really good. Yeah, that's good. Keep getting that puree stuck in my straw. It's the only thing I have to keep flipping the straw over. Oh, that's good. That's real good. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for today. What a great day it was today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed making it, of course. So happy Halloween, guys. See you next time.